Mr. Harris, what are you doing? I'm sorry, Gomez. The test ended 60 seconds ago. <laughs> Professor Harris? Mm-hmm. He handed the test in after I did. This is not fair, Mr. Harris. How long have you been serving on the Supreme Court, Gomez? What gives you the right to tell me what's fair and what's not fair? You're violating my rights, Mr. <laughs> Harris. I dictate the rules. And my verdict is, you failed the test. Mr. Harris, please, I'm studying on a scholarship here. I can't lose this opportunity. I know. Poor little Gomez, struggling to find her way in this cruel world. But you're missing one important detail. There's no free ride here. You think I got this scholarship easily? I studied really hard and I work hard at a cafe here to support myself. If I lose this credit, I will be deported and all my hopes and dreams will collapse just because of this one credit. Do you really need this credit? Yes, sir. Do you need my help? Yes, sir. I see one way to solve this problem. I have time tomorrow at 7 o'clock at my house. Do you get me, Gomez? <laughs> you don't have a choice. Do you think someone's going to believe you? Do you think anybody's going to believe you? No. <clears throat> you have to pay the price, sweetheart. No, I won't do it. <laughs> you don't have a choice. You just haven't realized it yet. <laughs> no, your mother's not going to buy you that dress, Jesse. Okay? Until you apologize. Okay? It's totally unacceptable. Listen, let's continue this conversation tonight. Okay. Can I help you? I'm sorry to bother you, Mr. Bailey. I want to change my professor. And you are... Francesca Gomez, sophomore. Francesca Gomez, sophomore. I suggest that perhaps you study a little bit harder. You misunderstand me, sir. I've studied really hard for this test. And I can take this test with any other professor. Well, if that were the case, then we wouldn't be having this conversation, would we? Mr. Harris wouldn't allow me to pass this test, sir. Well, I'm sure there's a reason for that. Why isn't he passing you? He's been harassing me. Harassing you? Yes, sir. That's a very serious accusation, Miss Gomez. What kind of harassment? He said I had to pay for my credit. Oh, uh, okay. <laughs> oh, I'm... I think probably the misunderstanding is on your end, Ms. Gomez. You see, at this university, you don't have to pay for extra credit. It's all included in the tuition. I've known Professor Harris for over 30 years. He's a very, very good person, a very talented professor. And over those 30 years, you're the first person who's ever made that kind of accusation against him. I think it's ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. Do you have proof? No. Well, here's my take, okay? I think you're looking for the easy way out. All right? He's giving you a failing grade, you're angry at him, and you're making these accusations. But if you continue to make these accusations, I'm gonna file a complaint against you, Miss Gold. But sir, I'm not. The conversation is over. You know where the door is. Have a great day. Here's your order, sir. You're looking really good in that uniform. Would you like to order something else, sir? Give me a pen. No, no, no! <laughs> 
you, you idiot! Oh, where's the manager? Well, just get oh on. Oh. Good morning, sir. I'm the manager. That girl spilled coffee on me, and then she just stood there instead of apologizing. My apologies, sir. Apologies? Too late for that. You need to fire her immediately! You're a monster. Go to my office. Now! Sir, can we make it up to you? Um, would you like dessert in the house? Yes, yes, thank you. This is so unfair. It's not even your shift. Do you want me to talk to Mrs. Walker? I'm sure she'll change her mind. It's okay, Barb. No one can help me. I can solve my problems. Just because you've lost the battle doesn't mean you've lost the war. Come on, let me help you. Thanks. I'll miss you, Francesca. I'll miss you too. Ah. Oh. Poor, poor Francesca. Oh, trying to run away from me. Get away from me, what do you want? It's going to be very hard to get away from me. I'm everywhere. And I'm much bigger than you. I got you fired from the cafe in 10 minutes. I get you kicked out of the university just as easily. All right, I agree. Oh, say it again so I can hear it. I agree, but I have a condition. You think you can make the rules now? You're not too old to take risks, are you, Professor? Mm. How about we take the retake in an auditorium? Oh. You're a fast learner, Gomez. I like the way you think. I agree. Okay, one more thing. Get yourself something nice, preferably red. Nice dress. Let's have a look. Uh-huh. Awesome. Thank you, Professor. Are you ready for the retake? Yes. The first question has to do with the Pythagorean theorem and his straight pants. The second question has to do with little red dresses. Come over here, Gomez. What, what are you doing? I said, come over here, Gomez. What? I don't think so, Professor Harris. Uh, hey, you don't mind me calling you Professor also, do you? I can't Is that what you think, Richard? Shut up! Shut your hole! Please accept my apologies, Miss Gomez. I'm sorry I didn't believe you at the start, but I've learned a very valuable lesson. You don't believe her, do you? We're friends! She set me up! You know, Professor, that's what I thought at the beginning. But you're mistaken. We were friends. And after 30 years, one does tend to recognize somebody's. You can't prove anything! I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna file. I'm gonna file a complaint. Where the fuck? Mr. Harris, you're under arrest. 
You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. Stop! What? You see, Mr. Harris, I do have a choice. You're pathetic and miserable and greedy, and I am not afraid of you anymore. You're gonna regret this, Gomez! No, you will regret this. You used your power for pleasure, but justice prevailed. <coughs> Good luck, Mr. Harris. I'm sure you'll like it in prison. Miss Gomez. Yes, sir. I heard that you're planning on withdrawing from the university. Yes, sir. I've lost my job, so I'm afraid I'm going to have to take a break from studies for a while. Francesca, you're a very bright student. Thank you, sir. That's why I'd like to offer you a job at our university as a lab assistant. Really? Are you serious? I am. Are you interested? Yes, I would love to work at the university. Thank you, sir. So you're in? I am. Thank you very Fantastic. much. Welcome aboard. Thank you. You're welcome. My mother just passed away. Have some respect. She passed away. Look, the old hag doesn't even care. Megan, it's about your inheritance. I put you back from there. 1967 collection. Dear Maggie, for the last 30 years, I've been saving money for you, baby, so you can make your dream come true.